Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. Tanzania's new president, John Magufuli, was sworn in Thursday despite continuing disputes over the October 25th election. Magufuli and Vice President Samir Suluhu Hassan took to the oath of office in front of a cheering crowd at Uhuru Stadium in the capital, Dar es Salaam. In a short speech, uh, the new president promised to work hard to implement the pledges he made during the campaign. The election extended the long-time rule of the Chama Chama Pinduzi party, both in the presidency and in parliament. The opposition says the election was rigged and is rejecting the results. Well, meanwhile, the semi-autonomous Zanzibar region annulled its polls because of alleged irregularities. Now, for more insight into the challenges ahead for the new Tanzanian president, I'm joined on the phone in Dar es Salaam by Mwesige Baregu, professor in political science and international relations, and also a member of the opposition coalition, Ukawa. Professor Baregu, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much. Now we know that uh, there has been a dispute over this election, but uh, from the look of things, would you say Tanzania is moving forward? Hello, can I come again? Yes. Uh, would you say Tanzania is moving ahead despite uh, some disputes over this uh, just concluded election? Yeah, it is rather unfortunate uh, that Tanzania finds itself in this uh, situation in which we are because uh, uh, this election has left the, com the country divided. It has left a major conflict uh, uh, surrounding the, the election both on the mainland and in Zanzibar, uh, and so it is a very, very hard time for, for Tanzania, and it, it calls for lots of wisdom to be able to, to address uh, some of the challenges that, uh, that we face now. Now, what is the task for uh, President Magufuli ahead? What can he do to heal these wounds and re reunite the country? Well, it is, uh, again, it is unfortunate that, in fact, uh, that Magufuli finds himself uh, having to inherit the situation not of his own making, uh, but nevertheless, he has uh, very little choice. Now, the question I think that we will, we will face him is whether or not uh, he would like to make significant uh, changes in the approach that had so far been taken by his uh, predecessor and others who have basically taken a confrontational approach and uh, refuse to see the point of view of the other side. And I think uh, if he really wants to make a difference, he would have to change all that and uh, be more in communication with the, with the opposition and uh, anti-dialogue. That would hopefully produce uh, some uh, kind of consensus that everybody can live with. Now, what, what is the way forward for Zanzibar right now? So Zanzibar, so far, uh, we have never really had uh, a convincing explanation why the election was cancelled. And it was only partly or partially cancelled because uh, the part of the election that concerns uh, the presidential, the union presidential vote uh, was counted. And uh, it was just the presidential vote in, uh, in Zanzibar, as well as the House of Representatives in Zanzibar, those were the parts of the election that were cancelled. So it is very hard to explain that a whole process is condemned as having been bad, and then uh, some, some of the results are, are, are rejected while others are accepted. Well, uh, Professor, we'll uh, just be watching closely the developments in Tanzania. Thank you very much for your insights. Uh, Mosige Baregu is a professor in political science and international relations and a member of Tanzania's opposition coalition, Okawa.